All right, so um, we'll, let's uh, continue where we left off. It said that um, Curtis is uh, buying, um, I'm reading this right here, Curtis is buying supplies for his school. Um, let's underline this. He buys P packages of crayons. So P stands for the packages of crayons at a rate of a dollar forty nine per package. Okay. Um and Q stands for the packages of markers at a rate of three point forty nine. So the expression um one forty nine times P which is the total number of crayons or packages of crayons plus um, 349 times Q, what does that represent? Well, according to the example, you, you can interpret this is the coefficient is what? The coefficient of 149, remember the coefficient is the number in front, right? So the coefficient then of the term 1, 0.49p is the 1.49. Remember, coefficient is the number in front of the variable. And what does it represent? Well, the term 1.49p represents the cost of P packages of crayons. The coefficient represents one package of crayon. One package of crayons is equal to $1.49. Likewise, when we talk about 3.49q, the coefficient is just the 3.49, where 3.49q represents the cost of Q packages of markers. And then the coefficient is the cost of one package of markers. Okay? So the expression then, this is the total cost of the crayons, the total cost of the markers. So this is the total cost of the package of crayons and the total cost of the packages of markers. See how that works? All right, so now let's read B, and then we're going to fill in some blanks on this one. So for this one, though, um, it says Jill is buying an inkjet um, printer and a laser jet printer for her business. She buys eight more packages of inkjet printer or inkjet paper than P packages of laser uh, jet printer paper. Sorry, I can't talk today. I'm trying to do two things at once. I should just do this one thing and then go back to the video. So then it says the inkjet paper costs six. 95 per package so that's inkjet paper and then it says that the laser jet paper costs eight dollars a package all right but we don't know how many packages so this is the only trick to this uh this question is so we let me back up for a second if we look at these previous examples, um, what do you notice? Well, it's the same as the previous example, right? So if I were to think about this, except there's a slight variation, okay? Let's look at the old example. The old example basically... Um, What's going on with my thing? How come this is... Oh, I'm using the wrong pen. There we go. Um, in this example, we said that 149P plus 349Q represented the cost of two things that we're buying. While in B, we're doing the same thing. We have the cost of the inkjet stuff, and we have the cost of the laser jet stuff. All right? But... There's a clue. She buys eight more packages of inkjet paper than P packages of the laser jet. So this is easy. The laser jet, the laser jet is, it costs $8 per package. And that's just the laser jet thing. And we're going to add something to that. So we're going to say plus. And this paper costs 
six ninety five. This is the inkjet stuff, right? Six ninety five times a variable. Now the problem is, is they give us a clue, and they say that she buys eight more packages of inkjet than P. Well, how do you say eight more than P? P plus eight. And so then the question that they're asking us really when we look at this, it says, what does the expression 8P plus 6 times the quantity P plus 8 represent? So what would you say? Well, it says interpret the meaning of 8P first. What does the coefficient 8 represent? Well, in the term 8P, what does that 8 represent, you guys? The cost of P packages of laser jet printers. And I'm running out of space, so I'm going to say of laser jet paper. You guys should be writing this down. I see a couple people writing it down. I see a couple people not writing it down. Well, what does the coefficient represent? What does the $8 represent? The price of what? Or you, or you could say the cost of what? One package of laser jet paper. And so moving on, um, it says interpret the meaning of the expression 695 times the quantity P plus 8. What do the factors this and this represent? Well, this is kind of a coefficient, right? Sort of. And that is, what does that represent? The cost. And this represents something else. So let's unpack that and, and figure it out. So this says the term. I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I tend to write kind of big and I'm. I don't know if you guys can see that in the back. It says the term 690 or 6.95 times the quantity P plus X. So when they say factors, they're saying this stuff times this stuff. What does that represent? Well, it represents the cost of inkjet. Paper. Okay. Of one package, I'm abbreviate with the word pack, of I J paper. What does the 8 plus P represent? What do you guys think that represents? Well, we said that he purchased eight more packages of inkjet printer than laser printer. So what does that, what does that expression really represent? Um, the number of ink chat paper 
packages. Okay. So instead of saying Q, which could represent the number of paper packages, since we know that they bought eight more than P, we could just say P plus eight. Now, the reason we're going to set it up that way is because when at some point in time, we have to solve for P. If you look at this expression, if you look at this expression right here, this whole thing has a bunch of numbers and one variable P. That's a lot easier to solve. In other words, if I said, hey, I want to send somebody to the store, or or better yet, this person spent $55, how much, how many packs did they get or whatever, I could set up an equation and because I have all numbers and only one variable P, I could solve for P. But if I have a P and a Q, it's a little more difficult because if I solve for P, somewhere in the equation I have a Q. If I solve for Q, somewhere else in the equation I have a P, so I never get P equals 3 or Q equals 5. But by setting this up in terms of P, I might get P equals 4 or 5, and then I work backwards by plugging it in to see what I have. And it's chill. I kept saying he, but it's, it's chill. So um, anyway, so what does this expression represent? What does this expression represent? The total cost. of packages, I'm just going to say packs because of space, total of um, inkjet and laser jet paper. How much they spent total on all of the paper? So if I say, well, I spent two, I, I bought two packages of inkjet paper, and then I bought blah, 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 i do the math. P would equal two. Does that make sense? So now, let's, uh, let's apply a little bit of logic to this one here. It says, interpret the algebraic expression corresponding... Um, to the given context. So um, it says George is buying um, watermelons and pineapples um, to make a fruit salad. He, he buys W numbers of watermelons and P number of pineapples. The watermelons, though, are 449 each. And um, the pineapples are five dollars each. What is the expression four point four nine W plus five point or five times P represent? The total cost of watermelons and pineapples. Okay, the total cost of watermelons and pineapples. Now, I need to know how many wa watermelons he bought, and I need to know how many pineapples he bought, but if I know those numbers, I can plug them into this expression, and it'll tell me the total bill. And I think we talked about this last time. Was it this class that I talked about somebody has to write this expression in the cash register? Somebody has to program the cash register so that when you scan these items, It'll say, oh, that's a watermelon, and it's four uh, forty-nine per watermelon. And when you scan the barcode for a pineapple, well, actually, you enter in a four-digit code, but sometimes they have a code that you could scan in. If you scan that code five times, then it'll take it and multiply it by five, and that will be a total cost of $25. So anyways, let's do this next one. Um, Sandy buys few, five fewer packages of pencils than a pack of pens. The pencils cost two twenty-five per package, and the pens cost three dollars per package. What does the expression three p plus two twenty-five times the expression p minus five represent? Um, what would you say? The 
total cost of pens and pencils. So if I know how many pens were purchased, I can figure out the total cost by this expression right here. This one right here. That's how I figure it out. Okay. Let's do uh, part two and then see what we get. Actually, I'm going to stop the video here. It's kind of lengthy.